Saturday is the MLK dinner celebration at Jackson College. Tickets are still available. It's a great dinner. It's $35. There's a discount for seniors and students, $25, plus a great program. They will be awarding the MLK Medal of Service to Anthony Parker, Angela Tompkins, VP of Diversity at Consumers Energy as the guest speaker, plus entertainment by Larry Sumner Jr. and the Men of Merit, Sisters of Strength, and more. Get tickets at jccmi.edu, and we will see you there Saturday. We'd like to now welcome the owner of How Equipment, Matt Ha. Good morning. Good morning. So How Equipment, every time I go, there's new equipment at How. Uh, what's the latest equipment? The latest? <laughs> uh, you know, I'll tell you what, we, we started a couple months ago carrying uh, you know, trailer lines yeah. and enclosed trailers, and that's quickly become a, a really big part of our business. Probably already like 50% of our wow. business right now. Wow. So it's just given us this, December was our second busiest month of the year last year, which historically is the slowest month of the year. So it just kind of goes to show, you know, yeah, that there, there's a need there, you know, for, for folks. And so we, we did that. We added dump trailers as well. And I think last week we sold three dump trailers, which was kind of crazy to just yeah. get them and sell them. <laughs> It's all that quick, but I think there's some folks in Jackson that were kind of you know in need of that and yeah. uh, supporting the local business, which is really cool. And then what I'm most excited about, we signed uh, in the process actually uh, chat with these folks yesterday. This company called N and N Trailers, which probably haven't heard of if you're in Michigan, no, but they do they do galvanized steel, which is a it's like a process if you're not familiar with galvanized that where they they dip that in like a zinc type coating and it's it's completely rust preventative so mm, wow we've got every trailer right now we've got the cargo trailers we've got open utility aluminum trailers through a local company we got steel dump trailers and so i was really looking for a brand where we could grab uh that that does more of the equipment line. So they, sure. you know, what was pictured there was a dump trailer, it was a gooseneck, so they get a really wide array of things they do. But they also do open utility trailers, they do really mm -hmm. heavy qu equipment trailers, you know, for, for those guys with just skid steers, that type of stuff. So it gives us pretty much every variety of trailer mm -hmm. that you can possibly have. And like, now you look at our lot and it's actually full of trailers <laughs> and it was empty of trailers before, yeah. but you know, I did this business prior and it was all used equipment. So yeah. you know, I started with doing used zero turn mowers and I also did a lot of used enclosed trailers. So I was pretty familiar with that trailer world. Mm -hmm. So that was definitely a, a hope and a goal to, to grab trailers. And it's, like I said, just really quickly, it's a big part of our business yeah. already. So we kind of want to be known for that for sure. It's so. interesting. I remember I talked to you and you, were, you said, I think I'm going to have a trailer or two out here in the next week. Uh -huh. And that was just a few months ago. Right. So that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. You need a trailer? You don't need to drive. No, to Saint, I don't because uh, they'll they'll St. John's anymore. Yeah. Drop off and uh, drop off and deliver. Yeah. So yeah, that was the fir first dump trailer we sold there. How did those uh, hook up? All gentlemen. different all different ways to hook them up. I saw all one that looked ways. like it might be a fifth wheel hookup. Yeah. So that one we that that was the the brand that we had okay. just been talking to. So we'll probably that's a gooseneck style hookup. It goes right into the bed there. Um, yeah, most of those are just a traditional, you know, two and five sixteenths or yeah. two inch ball. So, um, if, if you look at the, the trailers there, there's all different kinds of dump trailers. So one really nice thing. So we assigned with a brand called Forest. They're under the Forest River umbrella. If you're familiar with the Forest River name, they mm -hmm. do like campers and all sorts. Mm -hmm. They got a, a really big division. They do enclosed trailers, all sorts of stuff. So it's a, it's a really high quality brand Force and that last picture, I don't think go back to that, but they do that telescopic lift. You mm -hmm. see that hoist in the front? Right. If you think of when you're dumping, or let's say you had a something that you're trying to lift, right? That really, that leverage point all the way from the end is the best. If you have a scissor lift, um, which is the very closest one to, to us in mm -hmm. that picture there, that if, if you got a, a really heavy load of dirt, something like that, it can struggle sometimes depending on where that load is at. But if you've got the force coming from the nose of that, you can almost pick up about anything, you know, that's, that's awesome. capable of that hoist. So those are really cool to have the, a lot of the telescopic lifts and the company that we just, uh, you know, are looking to sign on there, NNN, they, everything they do is telescopic yeah. um, as well. So that's, they're definitely 
well-made, you know, good trailers, what we have now and what's going to come in. So we're definitely, we're excited about that for sure. And then uh, <laughs> probably the largest stock of ATVs that we've had, and we're just trying to figure out, you just got to pick like a stocking amount, right? Yeah. So if people can come and shop, you've got mm -hmm. this experience. So right now we probably have about 12 ATVs for sale right now used. Yeah. And that's maybe we could have five to 10, you know, on average. So people can come and pick what, you yeah. know, do they want a 400 CC engine or a big 800? Do they need a plow or not? So. It's gotta be cool yeah. for you because everyone needs a piece of equipment almost for something different, right? So yeah. you're getting to yeah. to learn people's story and what they're gonna use, yeah. uh, what they're gonna use the equipment for, and it's yeah. all different needs. Yeah, here's a little shout out to to Rob Limenstall, Limenstall uh, Services here in Jackson. They let us unload our, our uh, dump trailers over there. I gotta get a bigger forklift, so I know <laughs> Rob, the owner, and so he let us uh, do that, but it's kind of a, there's a nerving process. That, you think it, it looks like it's pinned against <laughs> the wall so you won't I've got about them. well I've got about two feet I could I could tip there so I uh, I've got the process down for unstacking those guys that's but amazing. yeah that's uh you know and then of course even the mowers this time of the year uh, what what we've got going off the mowers you know this time of the year we maybe sold two three right throughout the winter yeah. not very many but if you're interested in a Toro there's certain models where they've changed you know how they look like What's pictured on there is a 4000 series Toro. They've really changed the look up. It's mm -hmm. really this, this really cool, aggressive type look. And the, the model before that is a 2000 series uh, Toro, and they've got $500 rebates on those. So if you wanna save some money and get a brand new piece of equipment, and even the model before that, it, it, it's a really nice looking mower. You can save like what's, what's pictured there right at the bottom of sure. the picture. Those are 2000 series, so we've got some some rebates going on on some of that. So awesome. that would be something to take advantage of this time of the year. We're running that until the spring. Um, and of course, snow blowers <laughs> as well. We got it all. And that's what's been cool, right? Is this yeah. one-stop shop. So we got, uh, you got guys that you're now meeting for the first time. They're Maybe they're contractors or they right. do kind of people we wouldn't have seen because we do enclosed trailers. And it's like, okay, you guys do, there's a lot going on yeah. here. You know, yeah. I can get mowers from you or whatever the case. That's so cool. we're definitely, it expands uh, the business for sure. It's handy so you can um, sell the trailer and then the guy that buys all the other things, they can just load, load it up. up the trailer. Yeah, I think it's, for us, it's a big uh, selling proposition to the landscapers in town. You yeah. can grab your trailer from us and the mower, all the all the kind of stuff. And so maybe, maybe we sell you a trailer and that kind of, we can build the relationship that way and then you check out the mowers or vice versa. So that's, that's definitely really cool. And this is an electric, uh, and, and how cool does that look? I mean, to me, that yeah. looks badder, beefier than yeah. the gas. Yeah. And that's a fully electric, which I'm a huge proponent of that. It shoots the snow just as just as far as the, the gas powered products. Is it quiet? It's super quiet. To me, if you think of like the, the electric tools and all that, how convenient that is to grab right. an electric drill, all that kind of stuff. To me, that's what the, uh, that's kind of the truth for the electric snowblowers as well. It's right. just so convenient to turn the key and go. There's no pulling, there's no worry about the carburetor, all that. So you're gonna have a better user experience, you know, if you and pick the electric. Honest, a lot of people that use the snowblower, maybe that's the only piece of heavy equipment they use. So right. when they go maybe. out and if it won't start, <laughs> Then yeah. you're calling a plow company. Right, right. You know? yeah. Plus the, the schlepping of the gas all, all over. Well, you know, not everyone knows yeah. how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's talking about other people, right? Yeah, other, other people. Yeah, yeah. other people. Yeah. Right. Do you, I was going to say, do you, do you mow your own lawn? Uh, you know what I do because we sell so many used mowers. <laughs> I do not. Keep, I do not keep one at home. I trailer one up. I pick the biggest, <laughs> baddest one we got, and yeah. then I've got a big. You know, I'm cutting two, three acres, yeah. so I grab a big 60, 72 inch yeah. uh, commercial mower, and it's done. You know, in that's awesome. less than an hour. So that's yeah, cool. that's that's the advantage of owning an equipment dealership, I guess. Do cool. you mow your own? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I uh, take something home from the building, just like Matt does, so and do I chop it up. Yeah. So, so okay. are we going to get snow this winter? Gosh, I hope so. I mean, <laughs> we, we just saw one storm there, but yeah, I'm hoping to see a, a bunch of snow. We're definitely, we got all the tools to be able to help people yeah. with it for sure. But uh, yeah, we'll see. There's yeah. a lot of winter left. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's still January early. January and February are typically the worst of the month. So yeah. we, you know, hopefully we, we see some stuff going here. 
It's amazing to see how much your business has changed and grown. Yeah, uh, yeah just in a year lines. even. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we're, I, I think the, the trailer side of things is, is really big for us and it'll, we're hoping to see some even bigger growth, you know, throughout the next yeah. year because of that. So, awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for uh, yeah. being with us today and continued success in 2023, Matt. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Matt Howe, owner of Howe Equipment here in Jackson. More of the morning show after this.